Hey guys, this is Volker from Film Academy. We're going to give you an update on our VPAD project for virtual production editing tools. VPAD has been initially uh, created in the EU project DreamSpace and that project ended over a year ago. We've received quite positive feedback from industry and our students, so we're very keen to keep this project alive. And today we're gonna show you our latest progress on using consumer electronics, uh, more particular, the Apple AR toolkit for the next generation of virtual production editing tools. Okay, I'm going to give you a short overview of the components. So uh, you're pretty free in choosing your host application. In our case, this is Katana. You can see it runs here with Arnold in the background as a renderer and we have a complex scene set up here. As usual in Katana, it can handle a lot of geometry. The idea is that through a distribution process, you can distribute that scene to a tablet and interact with that scene in real time. Now, everything you need to take care of is that in your scene, you prepare low-res geometry as proxy geometry, and that geometry is identified by the plugin and streamed to your tablets. No export procedure, very convenient. The tablet connects to an IP address and gets the scene from there. Then on your tablet, once you receive your scene, you can edit camera angles, you can edit the position, translation, scale of objects, move them around in space, and you can make use of uh, the positional tracking features and the scouting features. Those changes are propagated back to the other clients and the host using a synchronization server. That's it in a nutshell. You're free to use any central production system. In our case, it's Katana. We've done so using Unity as a, a host application. Uh, if you want to use your own application, it could be Maya, it could be Unreal, anything, all you need to do is to write an own distribution plugin, which is rather simple, and then uh, get the right synchronization commands to your um, uh, host application. Okay, once you set up your scene, um, the scene's ready for distribution, all you need to do is load your client and then connect to the right IP address, hit load, and then your entire scene is transferred on the fly to the device and is ready for you to interact with. Okay, here we see a scene that's been distributed to our client. And first of all, we want to look at this scene in uh, our virtual mode. So no augmented reality no mode, but I can use the gyros and the tracking to scout the scene, to look for interesting angles and to um, uh, prepare for scene manipulation. So I'm gonna stop the tracking quickly here so that it's easier for me to select an object. So I'm gonna select the rocker here and translate it to the back. And you can see um, the host application in the background has repositioned this digital asset and starts the rendering. Okay, as the next step, we've combined an iPad with the GameWise gaming a controller. So you can see we have analog joysticks, we have a directional button and we have uh, regular buttons. Uh, we thought that this is a, a, a quite good um, um, haptical feedback since some of the feedback we received with the touch input was that it's good but it's not as intuitive as having a physical button. So you can see first of all here now we got the positional tracking of the AR kit. I can really move around the scene here with the scale applied and uh, test some camera angles and see how objects are framed. And uh, there's some functionality that actually can override the current position so I can move the camera further into the scene to the left or to the right. Let's take a look at augmented reality mode next. So we've placed the scene in our lab floor here and you can see my colleagues in the background uh, performing some actions to the scene. Um, here the, how the house in the foreground is moving and uh, that's what they perform. And now I can move around freely in the scene and um, investigate it from different viewpoints. I can select objects like the um, uh, rocket here, I can move it around freely and those changes are then propagated to my colleagues but also to the central production system in that place, Katana. All right, guys, this is where Ben lives. He's doing our technical documentation. Let's take a look. Hey, Ben. Hi. What's happening? <laughs> well, um, hi, uh, my name is Ben, and um, I'm actually hard at work, I hope, in my internship here at the uh, Research and Development um, Department of the Institute, and I'm doing the documentation for the VPAT, Virtual Production Editing Tool. 
which is basically divided in two parts. The first is the general user's guide, uh, which will is shown here, and guides the normal user using a mobile device through the functions of VPAD. So the general usage of geometry and light sources. And the second part, which I'm currently working on, is the technical documentation for building the application and deploying it to the mobile device and setting up the scene in Katana and Unity. And after that, yeah, <laughs> general networking and working with Katana and VPAD for all parties concerned. Thanks for watching. This was a sneak preview into the new VPAD features. It's a short paper that will be demonstrated at CVMP 2017. Uh, it's going to happen 11th and 12th of December at the British Film Institute in London. And visit us, we'll be demoing VPAD and the AR Toolkit on consumer devices as you saw it in the video all day. We're looking forward to your feedback and questions you might have. So don't hesitate to contact us. Thanks and see you soon.